Hey Capricorn, welcome to your reading for the first week of June, June the 1st through the 6th. I'm running behind with my readings because uh, I had a lot of family stuff to take care of over the weekend. Um, I have several people around me that are moving. It's like, and it's all came on, like suddenly, right? Well, kind of. Some of it suddenly. Not really. It seems sudden. I know they've been planning it for a while, but it's like the door opened and everybody jumped on it at once. <clears throat> really interesting. Capricorn, what's up with you this week? Message for Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. So far, the readings have been very similar. I have a feeling yours is not going to be an exception, a decision after a time period of re-evaluation. Yeah, well, duh, look what just came out. Round and round, going round and round and round and round with something. Milk and honey. Uh, Virgo just got that. And poise. You are about to take the leap on something that is going to bring you some success. So I feel like you're about to get out of this energy. Sorry there, Capricorn, I just needed to take, get a little bit of water. Round and round. That was a band song. Can't, was it was that rat? Y'all can tell me who was that? What goes around comes around. I'll tell you why. Two, three, four. Not a bad song, actually. I wasn't a huge big hair band chick. Back in the day, but I didn't have my fair share of songs that I liked. All right, Capricorn. Yeah, something is, you are making a decision here. You have been thinking about this for a long time, actually. Going within, trying to figure something out. I feel like this has been your energy for a while. But wanting to get a new, a fresh start on something here with the Page of Swords. You've been working very hard very focused, um, trying to um, build something for yourself, build some success. Um, I feel like, you know, you, you may want to ask some people for help if you need help with that, because it can be a card of teamwork. These birds are are in there holding different tools to help her build the wall. I uh, may want to get some advice here, but I do feel like you are extremely focused on uh, building this, a new foundation for yourself here. You do have the death card though. So I feel like you will make a decision on something. I feel like you will, um, end something here with this and then start moving forward to something that you're very committed to. So, because with the Knight of Pentacles, that's a card of deep commitment, but it moves very, very slowly. So this is a general reading. It doesn't, it can apply to anything in your life, whether that's your job, whether that's your love life, whether that is, um, a business, you know, just whatever. Get some clarity on the hang can, please, for Taurus. What is Taurus thinking about here? Knight of Swords, going after something. Going after something. Truth, clarity, um... Mm. King of Wands, passion, 
um, a lot of confidence, but very, very passionate. You want to do something. You want to move towards doing something you're very passionate about or moving towards even a person. Um, the world. Yeah. You want a brand new beginning. I feel like what you've been going round and round with here is wanting to make a new start, wanting to make a bold start, a new beginning with something and create a whole new world for yourself. This could also be you traveling, right? The nights are moving. Um, this could be you moving to a new place, a new home, a new world, right? <clears throat> Creating a new reality for yourself in some way. And then if that is so, then naturally you would be ending the old way. If you're starting something new, you can't take everything with you. Ooh, look at that. Double 13. Double 13 Capricorn. You might be getting a brand new job, Capricorn. If you've been looking for a job or um, to move up with your work, I feel this is a very, very good reading for you, okay? If you are have been looking for a new job or you are have been wanting to move, you are about to have a lot of freedom in your life, a lot of joy, a lot of celebrations. Um, this is just a lot of freaking fun uh, going through the portal, but this is the decision right here, okay? This is the choice that you're making. So I feel like you're about to be rewarded for all of your hard work that you've put in to doing this thing. I mean, you got the dang milk and honey card. This is all success. This is everything. This is the money, right? And um, you are, I feel like it's, you are poised for it. This is yours. This is your ace here. I feel like saying Capricorn. Yep, you want more power in your life. You want more success. The emperor with the hanged man. Brand new beginning. Boom. Ace of Swords right there. You going after it. This is you taking bold new action. Going after. Uh, and that is a brand new stinking beginning. Unlimited potential. Quick success. Just trying to call me. I got my phone set to that. Uh, you know, in an iPhone where you... You, in the settings, you can set your phone settings to where if the contact that's calling you is not in your address book, the it'll automatically send them straight to voicemail. And I get so fewer spam calls these days. It's amazing. <laughs> Eight of Cups. Oh, yeah, baby. You are walking away from whatever you've been doing here. You are walking away. You said... To heck with this. I'm not doing it. All right. I am creating a whole new world. And you people can just suck that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Capricorn. So funny. Mmm. Seven of Swords, overcoming your fear here. Seven of Swords can be someone who is lying or uh, being deceitful. But you can also, this is, I feel like you saying, no, this crap is over. Um, you're not, I'm not going to deceive myself any longer. This situation is changing. Okay. Fear is a great deceiver, right? When we're afraid of something. 
and five of wands strategy. Yep, you were just trying to figure out your strategy here for a long time. You're ending the conflict in your life um, because this is this is it right here, Capricorn. Total freedom, total joy, and celebrating. <clears throat> I feel like this is a very good reading here, Capricorn, for you. Um, and you are making this decision, I feel like, now. Like, now and in the next uh, week. So, I don't feel like you're having delays. I feel like the del your delays, Capricorn, have all been in the past, okay? This is something that you've tried, that you've been working on for a long time now, all right? And it is, it, you absolutely can, uh, I want to say appropriately because that's not the right word either. But, you know, a lot of people say in Mercury retrograde, don't start something new in Mercury retrograde. Well, no, if you started it a month ago or two months ago, then it is entirely appropriate. And you have the lost compass getting back to integrity card. So what once was lost, which was maybe you, Capricorn, is now found. Okay, lost compass. Card number 35 in the Shaman's Dream Oracle. I'm going to read. I love the artwork on these cards. The lost compass has come to show you that you need to find new counselors. You are not getting the mentoring you need for your success. There's that three of pentacles right there, okay? So whoever you're spending your time around, uh, it's time for you to stop spending time around these people. You're not getting the mentoring you need for your success. Who is that person you're looking up to as a model for what it means to be a woman or a man? Trash that ideal, tear up the picture you carry in your mind. You are meant to be you not the best copy of your dearest friend. Make this your mantra. Love me or leave me. The lost compass is a blessing in disguise because you sometimes have to lose your bearings and find yourself afresh to discover a new course. True north never changes, so reset your way to your heart compass and trust your deepest feelings even when others do not support them. So, you may be a, have spent a lot of time around people, Capricorn, um, even watching like YouTube videos where, I don't know, I'm getting this vision because my son is a Capricorn and I know how he is, of like someone on YouTube saying, well, this is the best way to do this or this is how you find a girlfriend really quickly or something and you do 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 do. But look, if, if, if nothing is happening for you, if, if the people you surround yourself with are not helping you grow, then they're hindering you. So this is you saying, nope, nope, I'm going to listen to either my own internal guidance or I'm going to look at some other mentors here that may have different ideas. Because some people out there are full of crap, Capricorn. They don't know what they're talking about. They're absolutely full of BS. And ridiculous, actually, giving very bad advice to people. So whatever this is, is saying the advice you've been getting is not good. You need to go get away from these people, okay? And then everything, just end all the relationships and you're going to be happy. That's basically what it says, Capricorn. Let's get some supportive uh, energy here for you. What is going to help support you in the first week of June, Capricorn? Capricorn. There's Buttercup, my... She will always make noises in the background. She's snoring. She's doing that. She's, you know. <sighs> Intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. Yeah. This is about your relationships. Trust your gut here. 
If you feel like a group of people is being dishonest with you because you did have that seven of swords, then you need to end it. If you have a partner, a romantic partner that is not being honest with you, um, then you need to trust that. This is about trusting uh, yourself, okay? And have, being in a powerful relationship with yourself, okay? Uh, and about being able to be intimate with other people, being able to be your authentic self with other people. So if there's a bunch of fake people around you, Capricorn, well, get away from them because that's not the way life really works. In a way, I've been thinking about this a long time, I almost feel like the lifestyle we live here or the, let me correct myself, the projected way of life in the media, okay, out there, is totally fake. I feel like the American lifestyle, in a way, is completely fake. You're supposed to look perfect, be perfect, uh, say this, say that, uh, be part of an, uh, the anger in the world or whatever. I mean, it's just, it's just nuts. It's not real. As, the older I get, the more I realize, like, the way we live here in America is really kind of screwed up. I mean, we spend all of our time looking at our phones. We we don't spend time with our friends. And, of course, a lot of that, you know, last year, we're still in the hangover period, right, of last year. But even before that, we, we weren't living. I just know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, Capricorn. I just feel like... Something needs to change, uh, especially if you're in the United States. Don't believe everything you see out there because I think there's a lot of fake, BS, false, uh, misleading crap out there, okay? Listen to your inner wisdom and your inner guidance, and thank you for being here, Capricorn. Please give the video a like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.